Dan Bedondi for the InfoWars Nightly News. Have you registered online for Obamacare yet? Are you having problems on the website? And once again, Pierce Morgan takes a stab at our Second Amendment and dares to insult our founding fathers. Now we're in the heart of the Industrial Revolution, historic Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and now we're going to ask the general public their thoughts about all this. Do you have trust in the government in why? No, I do not trust the government. They're corrupted. Uh, some want, some I do and some I don't. Uh, no, I do not have trust in the government. Uh, and why is that? Well, because they're full of snakes. They're all corrupt, you know. Not too much. Absolutely, he's a good government. He looks out for the, uh, the poor and the Americans. Yes, I do. And why is that? Because it's America and they take care of things, you know what I'm saying? And uh, your thoughts about Obamacare? I think it's a good thing. I think everybody should have it. I think it's good and bad at the same time. It doesn't seem like too many people like it, and um, or Obama. It's not really going to be for the people, more for the government itself. My guess is it's not perfect, but at least he's the first one that got something through. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Okay, uh, now CNN's Pierce Morgan recently stated the Second Amendment, which is the right to bear arms. Uh, he stated that it was clumsily written and it's time to rephrase it. Now, do you disagree or agree with that and why? Uh, I disagree and I can't explain why. I believe when the government, you know, tries to do something, they're trying to take away our guns so that we can't fight back against them. Oh, I agree. I looked at the Second Amendment. I couldn't figure out what it said. I actually agree with it because they should, but see, a lot of people are taking it the wrong way, using it for different things. They shouldn't be doing, you know what I mean? And um, are you aware that, according to FBI statistics, states with little to no gun control have the lowest crime and murder rates in the country? I, do, I was not aware of that, no. Yeah. Yep. I don't believe that. And um, are you on any form of government assistance? Yes, I am. Yeah. No. No. Uh, Medicaid. Yes, I am. No. Okay, and um, what do you think would happen if all government assistance were to be cut off, such as EBT, Social Security and everything? What do you think would happen? The crime rate would go up. Everybody in the hood will go crazy. They will go crazy. There will be riots forming. Nobody know how to pay their bills. They won't eat. They will be robbing everybody. And do you think it will be caused total riots everywhere? Yes, I do. Be a whole lot more crime. <laughs> I think crime rates will go up. You see riots? Yeah, absolutely. I think all hell would break loose. Standing here at the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution at the old Slater Mill in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, I could only imagine what the founders would have thought to know that our Second Amendment is being eroded and that we are being forced to purchase Obamacare. And this is Dan Badandi reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News.